For some people, the house is four walls and a roof. Others see it as a more elaborate structure with balconies, his and her bathrooms, and maybe a swimming pool if the budget allows for it. And then there are the homeowners who, for one reason or another, want to make their homes so ridiculously impregnable that they stop resembling cozy houses and start sprouting features that would actually make most war bunkers look pretty tame in comparison. Today, we're taking a look at some of the best examples of that last category, homes that are so heavily guarded it seems truly like overkill. Number 10. The KWK Safe House You've probably seen this one, even if you don't recognize the name. This is the elaborate concrete structure that the internet is fond of calling the zombie-proof house. The reality, as always, is a bit more complex and a lot more boring. The KWK Safe House is actually a Polish architectural office's example of a truly safe house. The two-story residential building's most famous feature is the exterior walls, which can be moved to either completely close the house away from the environment or open it up to fully connect with nature. Though the house House's closed state is definitely the beef of this particular burger when it comes to zombie enthusiasts. The true point of the cuboid building seems to be variety. While it can be closed into a tight monolithic block that offers complete privacy, the house's open state is a surprisingly airy affair full of windows, terraces, and balconies that let light in and allow you to step right outside. The interior views of the open state show that the building is borderline transparent with floor to ceiling glass windows on almost every side. Still, when those zombies eventually do attack and you know it's gonna happen, you're pretty hard pressed to find a more secure hideout than the KWK safe house when it's in its closed state. Number 9. The Atlas Missile Silo House at first glance, this particular building seems more cozy than guarded. After all, how secure could an idyllic wooden house in Saranac, New York be when push comes to shove? The answer? Not very secure. However, the Cold War-era missile silo right underneath it is another matter entirely. Just to make it clear, the actual missiles have long since been removed. The Atlas Missile Silo House was built in 1960 and actually served as a control center for the aforementioned silo, which has long since been decommissioned. But some aspiring real estate developers have turned the accessible parts of the underground structure into living accommodation. Tons of blast doors and original control panels remain, which makes the site a perfect bomb shelter type of home. To top things off, the overgrown parts of the property are very secluded and feature a runway along with a couple of other buildings. So even if living in underground security isn't your thing, the site has the makings of a very well-defended doomsday prepper compound. Number 8. The Rice House the Rice House Atlanta in Alpharetta, Georgia, advertises itself as a presidential diplomatic compound, but the sales pitch carefully glosses over whether actual presidents or diplomats have ever used it. Regardless of the building's political merits, one thing is certain. The Rice House is one of the most secure locations in the country. At a glance, the building looks like your ordinary mega mansion, but apart from the usual follies of the rich, such as infinity pools, personal bowling alleys, and massive car vaults, every single nook and cranny of the Rice House has been crammed full of absurd absurd safety features, all of them carefully embedded in the architecture because, as the house's website puts it, one cannot defeat what cannot be seen. The house is full of secret entrances, fortified doors, windows, and ballistic panels. Master and guest bedrooms are basically panic rooms, and there's a 15,000 square foot bunker in case things go really bad. The house can be put in lockdown remotely from anywhere in the world, and there's even a push button that sprays unwary attackers with tear gas. Oh, and just in case the initial assault doesn't convince the enemy that Rice House is not to be messed with, an adequately stocked owner can hole up in the building pretty much indefinitely. The house is equipped with off-the-grid power and gets its water from three 1,000-foot deep wells. Number 7. Indian Creek Island Indian Creek Island is a secret, ultra-secure island in Miami, Florida that offers so much security to the people willing to pay for it that Forbes calls it the Billionaire Bunker. Some of the world's richest people pay millions and millions of dollars to acquire one of the island's properties, and with only 40 of them to go around, it's easy to imagine that the market has got pretty hot. Currently, the most expensive plot on the island costs $47 million and was bought by a mysterious Russian buyer in 2012. The rarity of the available property parcels and the island's exclusivity aren't the only things that are attracting buyers. A private police force patrols Indian Creek shores 24-7 with boats, jeeps, and jet skis, and even the sole entrance of the island's exclusive and hyper-private 18-hole golf course is guarded extremely heavily. 
Number 6. Eugene Sui's World's Safest House Eugene Sui is the kind of guy who likes to wear a cape and has a resume to back up his fashion choices. He's a professor, author, Harvard University research scholar, flamenco guitarist, concert pianist, inventor, noted amateur boxer, and gymnastics champion, and, as luck would have it, an architect with a penchant for strange and unique designs. One of his most famous creations is a building that he calls the World's Safest House. He built the house as a home for his elderly parents, and as such, his version of a heavily guarded home doesn't feature armed guards. Instead, he focuses on materials and designs that make the structure as disaster-proof as possible. The building's design and properties both draw inspiration from one of nature's sturdiest creatures, the tardigrade. The organic-looking ridges on the surface hide tubing that allows hot air to flow around the house, which, combined with the wrinkly surface of the house, would carry heat up and away from it. So he says that this renders the building completely fireproof. The sailfish-style fin directs water and strong winds away from windows and doors, preventing any indoor flooding and storm damage. Furthermore, the house is made from rastra, a special concrete blend that's infused with compressed recycled coffee cups. This material allows increased resistance for fire, flooding, termites, and mildew, and also works as a sound insulator. Finally, the supporting structures are Structolite, a form of hyper-strong plaster that bends, flexes, and adjusts, which should help the house survive earthquakes. Number 5. Kim Jong-un's Residences Whenever the world's most heavily guarded things are ever discussed, North Korea's beloved leader Kim Jong-un dusts off his best jacket and squares his shoulders because he's bound to make an appearance at some point in the conversation. This list certainly no exception, as Kim has multiple highly secure residences that are guarded both by architectural means and by his 100,000-man personal army. Details about Kim's assorted homes are just as few and far between as well everything about North Korea. We know that his main accommodation is the Ryongsong Palace, but at least a dozen other leaders' residences have been identified, and chances are that there are many others. One of these palaces is so opulent that it features a huge 1,000-seat movie theater for the dictator to keep up with cinematic masterpieces such as Godzilla. Kim is fond of frequently renovating his properties at a high cost while his people are struggling to get by. In 2010, he built an opulent mansion near Pyongyang to serve as his family home, but apparently it didn't meet his standards after he inherited the great leader seat from his father. In 2015, it was completely torn down and construction was started anew. Number 4. The Corby Residence Al Corby is a security expert who was involved in making the Rice House the ultra-secure compound that it is, so it's no surprise that his own home in the Hollywood Hills is one of the most heavily guarded buildings out there. Its white, artwork-covered walls make the house look like your average multi-million dollar home, which is typical for the area, but everything else about it makes it seem like the secret headquarters of a spy organization. The Corby family has no keys to the house and doesn't need them thanks to biometric recognition software at the entrance. The building is impervious to earthquakes thanks to sturdy caissons of concrete that go 30 feet deep. Its residents are equally impervious to outside attackers thanks to an assortment of surveillance equipment that can spot an intruder practically a mile away. Even if someone would manage to break in, the Corbises are in little danger because the house actually contains a smaller, even more secure house within itself. Apart from the ordinary living areas, the sleeping quarters are nested within an ultra-secure 2,500-square-foot space that is essentially a completely ballistics-proof suite. Corby calls this a safe core. Number 3. Ira Rennert's Hamptons Mansion When a mansion built by a junk bond billionaire comes with a reported cost of $248 million, you know that security is probably going to be slightly more than a guard dog and a nosy neighbor with 911 on speed dial. Articles about Ira Rennert's controversial 62,000 square feet Hamptons Mansion are rich with descriptions about the details of the building itself, but surprisingly light about the details of its security. But that doesn't mean that the building is exactly unguarded, as witnessed firsthand by a Mother Jones reporter who attempted to take a look at the mansion. A security guard jumped out of an actual bush and threatened to have him arrested before he even got close. Even without factual figures about the mansion's security, just looking at its vastness and opulence should convince anyone that you can't get anywhere near the area without a sizable private army. Hampton's mansion is reported to have up to 29 bedrooms and 39 bathrooms, a 91-foot-long dining room, a 164-seat theater, a $150,000 hot tub, and vast amounts of assorted sports courts and swimming pools. Renner owns a massive art collection that's worth an estimated $500 million and he has plans to build a museum on the premises to house this collection. 
Number 2. Bill Gates' House As one of the most notorious tech billionaires and the former richest man in the world, Bill Gates is in prime position to build one of the most secure houses in existence, and his Washington mansion certainly lives up to the hype. The mansion, which Gates calls Xanadu 2.0 as a homage to Citizen Kane, is a luxurious dwelling that's so large he had to commission an artificial stream across the premises just to make sure the water runoffs from the retaining walls wouldn't be a problem. Unsurprisingly, the house is full of top-notch technology and a combination of sensors, wearable tech, and hidden gadgets enable the Gates family and their guests to adjust absolutely everything in the room whenever they feel like it, from music to lighting to temperature. You can even change the artwork on the walls at the Touch of a button. Oh, and he had this tech already back in the 1990s when the rest of the world was still trying to figure out what the internet was. Other less tech oriented amenities of the Gates house include a room full of trampolines, a giant library with secret bookshelves that reveal a hidden bar, and a 60 foot pool that's so large it features both outdoor and indoor sections. The security systems of the place are understandably played a little closer to the chest, but when they go all out, well, they go all out. When the Gates House hosted a party for the National Governors Association in 2004, the whole estate was circled by a giant temporary security zone that blocked access to large parts of Lake Washington. For extra security, the attendees had to arrive by boat. Number 1. Kim and Kanye's Super Secure Mansion You'd expect that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West live in some sort of fairy tale castle, but in reality, their home in the appropriately named Hidden Hills, California, is more of a fortress. Visitors must navigate multiple security checks just to get in the front door, which one visitor notes looks like it might be lowered over a moat. The $60 million home is heavily guarded by a security team that watches over the celebrity family around the clock and also accompanies them whenever they go out. As a final touch, they have a security pod in their garage that is manned and on high alert at all hours, which one would imagine makes things really difficult when they want to open a champagne bottle and an armed guard bursts in as soon as the cork pops. To be fair, there is a reason behind the couple's interest in security. In 2017, Kardashian was robbed at gunpoint in a Paris hotel, which not only made her realize that her Instagram lifestyle was too easy to track, but caused her to do a complete overhaul when it came to the security needs in her life. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. If you're looking for more from me, why not check out my other channel called Biographics? You will find that linked to below. And as always, thank you for watching.